Hi, my name's Chris. I'm the engineering team leader for noise control at Price Industries. Behind me, we have our operational silencer display. This is a fully interactive display and demonstration tool that allows us to run sound and air performance through a variety of different silencer configurations. Our system starts with a quiet fan-powered terminal unit with integral silencers. It's supplying 1,000 CFM of air down into a four inch thick acoustic panel enclosure. Inside of this enclosure, we have a speaker system that's the source of our noise for each of the different tests. One thing to note is that this system is not testing to the ASTM E477 test standard. It's only being used for demonstration and training purposes. We will start with measuring the sound source through the empty duct. This will give us our base sound level for all of the tests and there's a microphone at the end of the duct capturing the sound measurement. You can see on the graph that the sound source is relatively constant in all octave bands for the empty duct sound measurement. The pressure drop is also measured at zero inches of static pressure as there is nothing in the airstream. Next we will close the damper for the empty duct and open the elbow ERM silencer at the top of our system. We'll run the sound measurement through the elbow. As you can see, the pressure drop through the elbow silencer is being measured at approximately 0.15 inches of static pressure and the difference between the measured sound at the empty duct compared to the elbow is what we refer to as insertion loss. This is how much sound energy is being reduced by inserting that elbow into the duct system. Elbow silencers work very well for both turning the air and attenuating the sound in a single duct element. Next we will change from the ERM elbow silencer to the RL rectangular low velocity silencer. As you can see, the baffle configuration for the silencer is two parallel baffles with a standard fiberglass acoustic media. We'll run the sound through this silencer. The static pressure through the RL silencer is being measured at 0.35 inches. The insertion loss is also high throughout all octave bands. With the RL silencer, we're getting high insertion loss performance with a relatively high pressure drop. And this has to do with the baffle configuration of that silencer. Next, we will look at the rectangular high velocity or RH silencer. The baffle configuration for the RH silencer is a tapered baffle along the length. We'll measure the sound and airflow through this silencer. As you can see, the pressure drop is significantly lower than that of the RL silencer, being measured at 0.1 inches of static pressure. The insertion loss is also lower throughout each octave band. This is something to keep in mind when selecting silencers. It's always a balancing act between insertion loss and pressure drop. The more sound that you want to remove from a duct system, the more pressure drop you're going to have to deal with. The next three silencer examples are for different media options and liner types. The first silencer is a rectangular high velocity silencer with a fiberglass cloth liner. This fiberglass cloth liner protects the acoustic media from erosion and has very little effect on the acoustical performance. We often refer to the fiberglass cloth liner as acoustically transparent as it performs equivalently to that of a standard silencer. We'll run the sound and airflow measurement through this silencer. As you can see, the fiberglass cloth lined unit performs very similar to the standard RH fiberglass silencer. We recommend that you add a fiberglass cloth liner to silencers and applications with high air velocities. The next silencer is a rectangular high velocity silencer with a polymer film liner. Polymer film line silencers are often used where there is concern with fiberglass from entering the airstream or if there's contaminants in the airstream that you want to protect the acoustic media from. We'll run the sound and airflow measurement through this unit. You can see that the insertion loss performance of the polymer film line silencer is less than that of a standard RH silencer. In some cases, the film liner is necessary for the application, but it's important to note that it does have a negative effect on the acoustical performance of the silencer. The final silencer in our test system is a packless rectangular or no media silencer. As you can see, this packless silencer has a similar baffle configuration to the RL silencer and the pressure drop measured is similar. You can see that the insertion loss performance through the packless silencer is less than that of a rectangular absorptive silencer. Instead of acoustic media to remove the sound energy, these silencers rely on tuned chambers to help dissipate the sound. 
Although they do not perform as well as an absorptive silencer, sometimes they are the best option for the application. Hopefully this has given you a good overview of silencers, how they perform, and some of the options available to you. If you have any questions on this or other noise control topics, please feel free to email us or visit us online.